There is a smorgasbord of ancient antiquities, along with the many objects left thereafter, which has fueled a heated debate smoldering within the field of history, fought out and kept smoldering at its core by two opposing sides of considerable clout. Those in support of, and it must be noted, heavily funded by current academic paradigms, and those with incredibly sturdy examples of supporting evidence of now lost ancient high technology, along with vast areas of antiquity itself, and the actions undertaken within for which their academic opposition simply cannot produce an answer for. These objects, or uparts particularly, becoming thorns in the side of currently taught historical theorems. Academia in response have, through competent research, the re-examining of witness testimonies, along with the grilling of some of these said witnesses, even polygraphy being undertaken upon the supposed discoverers of these items, all in an active attempt to disprove this alternative timeline of history which they claim as impossible, a history which these objects are displaying existed. Remarkable relics, easily identifiable as human implements, have been found in nearly every place you wouldn't expect to find them. Artifacts liberated during mining activities, found in Jurassic strata, the Wedge of Awood found deep in prehistoric sediments, or a doll machine pumped from depths untouched, or more importantly, undisturbed for many millions of years. Entombed, these remarkable things, just waiting for modern man to again show them the light of day. Ruins found in geographical locations, which have, geologically, proved by another academic field as having been built, then subsequently submerged far before historical academic opinion on human origin, and indeed, human development timelines as a whole allows. A complete contradiction of conclusion resulting from a blatant cover-up of the past. Additionally, these mentioned items, we believe, are likely a mere handful of examples found over the years, such as the iron mask we recently covered found deep within a coal mine by the lady who came forward with images and the testimony after her father, the finder of the artifacts passing, having kept his find secret. Yet another peculiar area of ancient curiosities, in contrast to being unearthed, were plunged into it. The most interesting of which, in our opinion, being that of the swords in the stones. The sword of Okomfo Onaki being one such artifact. The once mythical leader of the Ashanti people. As a symbol of its power, and to signify peace and unity among the Ashanti Empire. According to local history, the sword was plunged by him into the ground, this occurring some 300 years ago. He pronounced the sword to be immovable, and, bizarrely, it has indeed remained unmoved. There have been many attempts to liberate the sword, including well-known figures such as Muhammad Ali, who attempted to remove the sword in 1994. The sword has even been visited by the Queen of England in 1961, though whether she attempted to lift the sword is unknown. History is full of mysterious anomalies, which simply cannot be explained, the sword of Okomfo being one of them, as of which it is an artifact we find highly compelling. <laughs>